But first at six, an outpouring, an absolute outpouring from Americans, please, for mass shootings like the one in Texas this week to stop. No matter what you believe when it comes to gun control, we looked for one thing most Americans do agree on when it comes to gun safety, and that is universal background checks. Yeah, so we took that to lawmakers to ask where they stand. Do they plan to act on this? We all deserve to know where each of them stand on this. So ABC 15's Nicole Gregg has their reactions. Bullet went down there. Alonzo Williams showing us where a bullet pierced his body. People may hear about it, they may talk about it, they may see it, but to actually live it is another story. He says he's a survivor of gun violence. He tells me he was shot at random out of state at a tire shop and knows the pain. I feel the people's pain because I'm in pain myself every day, but I'm healing you know, but it's not the healing that a lot of people would look for. When it comes to guns and safety, I wanted to see where our elected officials stand on one issue with gun reform that most agreed upon. So we took the latest Quinnipiac poll on the issue. Responses to the 2019 poll that showed over 90% of Americans agree that there should be universal background checks. And we put together just one question to our senators and those running for the office. Will you vote for a bill that puts into place universal background checks? Out of the five Republicans running for Senate, only two of them responded to our request on universal background checks by our deadline. General Mick McGuire saying in a seven sentence response, he's not in favor of universal background checks, saying in part, no new background check or firearm restriction will solve this crisis. And candidate Attorney General Mark Bronovich writing in two sentences, our heart should be with the grieving families and devastated Uvalde community in Texas right now. I hope everyone will reflect on our human humanity instead of racing to politicize such a heartbreaking tragedy. So I took that answer to new father David Statt. Why don't we answer the question and, um, you know, stop. And that's exactly the political answer you always get. Like, just answer a question. He says as a father now, this tragedy hits different. I can't help but, like, get political about it, you know, because I think it totally is a political issue. And when it comes to what's being done by those who you elect into office, the House has already passed a bill in 20. 2021 in Washington, D.C., H.R. 8 tightened gun sales regulations by expanding background checks. All four Arizona Republicans for the House of Representatives said no. And now the bill sits in the Senate. And some question if background checks would do much, including Alonzo, that gun victim survivor. You ask yourself that question, what good would that do? I also reached out to Senator Cinema and Kelly. Kelly's office saying he supports universal background checks. Cinema's office listed off eight bullet points that she supports. Common sense policies like expanding current background check systems, making it longer to complete background checks, expanding access to behavioral health services and mental health first aid training. Nicole Gregg, ABC 15, Arizona. And we followed up with our senators on the filibuster, asking if they'll support funding it, ending it to get a gun control vote done in the Senate. Senator Mark Kelly's office saying he would evaluate any proposed changes to Senate rules. Meanwhile, Senator Kristen Sinema's office would not directly respond to our question, but did say the senator was part of a bipartisan meeting on gun violence. And when it comes to any kind of gun control, where do the people of Arizona fall? When asked about putting more regulations in place, our data expert Garrett Archer has a look inside the numbers for us tonight. The nonpartisan Pew Research Center has long been considered the gold standard of American public opinion, and according to their website, they have been tracking America's gun debate for at least two decades. Their data shows that despite some wildly differing opinions, Americans do agree on a few things. There are five gun safety positions that a majority of Americans hold. Two of them are popular with both parties. Almost nine in ten Americans, including more than eight in ten Republicans, want laws preventing people with mental illnesses from purchasing a gun. Eight in 10 Americans, including seven in 10 Republicans, want universal background checks. This tracks with a separate Quinnipiac University poll that we found 90% of Americans agree on universal background checks. Pew also found that a poll from 2021 that a majority of Americans favor stricter gun laws. But the majority is slim, only 54%, the lowest number since 2017. And stricter gun laws are not favored by majorities in both parties, with only two in 10 Republicans favoring those restrictions. 
Today, 21 states require some form of background checks to purchase a handgun, with most of these states being concentrated in the urban northeast and west coast states. Arizona is not among these. Despite the popularity of universal background checks, H.R. 8, a universal background check bill passed by the U.S. House last year, continues to languish in the Senate. At least 10 Republican senators would be needed to break a filibuster and pass that bill. With a look inside the numbers, I'm Garrett Archer, ABC 15, Arizona.